Hello guys. So today, as you guys see from the title, I'm gonna be decorating my room and just adding some new stuff, fixing it a little bit because it's pretty disgusting right now. I have this whole crate of things that I wanna put up. Hopefully I finish it all today. I do work, I do have a shift later today. If not, then I'm gonna have to continue another day and just like combine the clips. So if this footage is kind of all over the place, we know why. Also, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do this because it's like I have to put screws on the wall and I don't know how to do that. And I don't wanna use a drill, so I'm only gonna use a screwdriver. So hopefully that works. If not, then I'm just gonna have to wait for my dad to come home. So I bought these things to kind of organize and to kind of reduce the items that are on like the floor and kind of like move it to the to the walls if you know what i mean my room has been looking like this for the past like one billion years there's a lot of clothes over here i'm gonna fix that but that's not the main thing here this part over here tends to be really full i keep all of my hats like bucket hats and stuff in there and so that's why i bought this pink crate from urban outfitters to sneak in there and just stack everything in there so it doesn't look that crowded because i feel like this corner already looks pretty crowded so i don't want that to look even more you know or let me just show you guys what i got i'm gonna be changing my poster so i'm gonna be changing the mark poster and the beckian one i know rest in peace i think it's just time to change it i bought some invisible shelves from amazon and ugh, i'm super scared to put these up i have so many holes on my walls and my dad says it's okay even though we live in an apartment but he says he can cover them up somehow if we ever do move out i got four of these i'm gonna be putting four of them up i'm gonna be putting my books on them because this part is getting kind of crowded and i also don't want them to be facing the sun i bought this like book stopper i got it from barnes and noble it's a book end actually and the ends are a pot like a plant pot i got these flower hooks from urban and i want to put them over here and hang cute little purses because i do want to film a lot more like outfit videos or like get ready with me like on tiktok and i want to do it in this corner i got three different colors so i got this like peach i got a green one and i got a blue one the last thing that i want to put up is this frog mirror i got it from urban as well it's just a simple frog mirror i think i'm gonna replace it with this heart one that i have over here and just put the frog there i think it'll look really good so that's basically everything that i have that i want to put up and then just clean my room as i go um hopefully vacuum oh look at my gato kitty okay so the first thing i think i'm gonna do is put the crate and put all my hats in there because that part's really bothering me right now i got this crate from urban outfitters they have i think one other color it's like an army green color but i just decided to get the pink one girl <laughs> what are you doing i need the crate you need to get out please fit perfectly in the thing and there's even like a little more space over here so i think i'm gonna leave my vinyl records here i'm gonna stack stuff like on the sides i think there's where i keep all of my tote bags all my nct tote bags and just a few other ones that are my favorite should i put Ooh, that's cute it looks a lot better than what it did before i like all the pink Okay, so I finished that little corner. Now I want to change the posters. So I'm going to change the Mark Lee one and the Beckian one. I'm going to change the Mark one to Beatbox. I really like the cover. Also, all of my posters are from Sarang Hello. All the albums come with these posters. And then I'm switching the Beckian one for one of Kai during his Peaches era. So I'm debating to either put this one up or this one and i decided to do this one just because um dude i feel like i just like it better and i think it'll also go well with the beatbox since they're both like light enjoy me struggling for like 10 minutes maybe
I can't put a cute little grape band-aid. It actually really burns, like it's burning right now. I finished both posters. I got my frames from Michaels and Target. I think I'd recommend Target a bit more just because of the Michaels ones. I have to like tape it from the back because they tend to fall off, like the little frame thingies tend to fall off, so go to Target. Okay, but now I'm gonna put them up and see how they look. I think I did it. It looks really, really cute. I put that one up with a nail. Like, there's a nail stuck stuck to the wall. And then that one I used a push pin. Or I used two push pins. You could either use a push pin or a nail. They aren't that heavy. So, if you put two push pins, I think you should be fine. Now, we got La Virgen over here babysitting. Now, we're going to move on to over here so this is a little corner where i want to start filming like my outfit videos um that's why i added this little heart i got it from home goods it's really cute except it broke so i'm gonna have to remove the p1 harmony calendar i mean the year is almost up i want to decorate the wall really pretty so not just have the little purses hanging but i also have some cute prints that i want to put up so first i'm going to take this off I could also put it like right here, but since it is a bigger poster, it might look kind of weird. But I'll just keep it on there for now. Honestly, I might just leave it. My cat is literally just staring up at me as if she's never seen me in her life. I'm not gonna hang all of my um, purses in these little hooks. Like I'm only gonna do one purse just cause I don't want it to look super overwhelming. Cause back here is where I have all of my purses hanging. So I'm only gonna pick the cute ones to hang um the nail is in the back i got my handy dandy screwdriver i just need to figure out where over here i'm gonna hang the things so i'm gonna be standing here i need my purses like over here gg i could do like one there the other one here and then the other one here that Oh my gosh okay i had another dilemma or another like thing that i wanted to do so i kind of wanted to put an invisible shelf here so these are the invisible sh shelves from amazon and it has a little like hooky thingy to put your book in so they look like they're just floating so i did want to put one here except i think that when i open the door it's gonna like clash a little bit. I don't think that should be like a thing. So maybe I'm not gonna do this actually. I guess since that's out of the question, I'm gonna look for inspo on Pinterest. So I see that some people are doing it like one on top of the other, like that one. Since I only have three hooks, I could also do this, like do two and then one under it, like in the middle. I think that's probably the easiest, the one on top of the other. Oh my gosh, something like that would be cute i'm saving that also follow me on pinterest because i post all of my room inspo all of my outfit inspiration my fashion inspiration and not gonna lie they're pretty good so so i for sure want to display this one this one is my coach purse i don't know if it's actual coach but i got it on depop it was like 40 bucks okay these are the other contestants so we have just a clear yellow one that i got from macy's it reminds me of the neo bong and a lot of people bring that up too so maybe that's an option i also have this heart one it's a brown heart it's from bella doña from their instagram i have this one that i thrifted at a goodwill but it's made out of like chip bags i have this other one that i thrifted it's just a floral blue green and lavender mini purse i have this white one that has doodles on it which is from mini png they draw and paint their artwork on clothing items and accessories so i ended up getting their purse because it was really cute i don't think i'm gonna do the white one just because it kind of blends in a little bit too much to the wall i think i'm gonna put some pins on the wall and just test it out maybe it'll look better when i add the actual flowers because right now it looks kind of tacky i'm gonna do this order so green pink and blue okay i put the first one up oh that's so cute okay i love it okay i put the second one on I forgot about my fuzzy one, except I don't know if that's gonna be a bit much. Yeah, you can't even see the flower. Unless I get another, another flower hook and put it here. I'll hold off on that. 
know if the yellow one goes. I'm kind of leaning towards the heart. Also, I could just switch these out whenever I want to, so it's really not that deep. I'm gonna just put that one for now. That blue one with the yellow looks really cute, not gonna lie. Maybe I just need to get more purses. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Okay, now that I finished putting that up, now I'm gonna add the prints that I said I wanted to add. These are just random prints from my Pinterest. I have like a prints folder. There's like cute images that I just print straight from my computer. And there's also some other ones that are from like artists or from little shops i'm just gonna add them with regular scotch tape this is what i use to put up all my prints i kind of want to work around the geno beatbox poster that came in his digipack jewel case thingy so i'm just gonna add the tape to the back of all the pictures and then just play around with it see what display i like better then you guys will see the final result I recently got these cute lace decorated top loaders from Heaven's Cloud Co. You guys should definitely check out their shop. I just realized like while decorating my room, these would be so cute to like stick to your wall and have like that little lace detailing on your wall instead of just having like just straight up posters. I really like to hang up things that are not just posters. So like I like to hang up little flowers, knickknacks that I have random actual objects instead of just like little papers. And so I'm gonna hang this one. I, I got this pink and white one from their shop. I just put a PC of Renjun on there and I'm just attaching it with these. I don't know what they're called, but they're like adhesive little squares okay i think i'm done i don't want to add too much because i don't want it to look too hectic i did find this cute little set that i definitely want to put up but i have this cinema roll plushie that i got from fan loli and i was thinking of hanging it on my wall and then i have this my melody little purse that i got in japantown the shop hope brownie they sell prints of nct dream and nct 127 sanrio prints and i think these would look so cute on your wall they're super like pastel like and it has all of the members on there with their sanrio characters and i think this whole collage thing would look so cute somewhere in my room i still don't know where i'm gonna put it i wanted to put it here but it seems already pretty full so I might have to put it somewhere else in my room. So I switched the brown one. So I have the brown one on top, um, the pink one and the yellow one. And I decided to put this little fake flower in the yellow bag. And then I bought these flowers from Michael's during like Easter. And I just ripped one off and I hung it there. I think the orange with the green of his shirt goes really well. I was going to do yellow, but there's already a yellow purse there. And then I have this Polaroid of Mark from hello future i have this other print that i got from pinterest of utah this just describes like utah and like the units he's in where he's from and like just a description of him I have this random um, postcard that i got at a bookstore and i have this other print from mini png and then this is where i put the lace decorated top loader and i put this pc of renjun and i think it's super cute i can't wait to film stuff in front of it i think i might add a little bit more stuff throughout time um, but I think this is definitely a good start. I'm going to switch out the purses whenever I feel like it or whenever maybe the seasons change or if I want a more monochrome look to my room in this little section. So now we're done with that. We're done with the posters. We're done with that over there. And my room is still a mess. My cat is taking a cute little nap. So now we're going to move on to the frog mirror. Okay, so I want to put the mirror right there where that heart one is. Oh my gosh, wait. What if I add it here? Oh my god, that would be so cute but i feel like it's a bit too cornered okay i'm gonna end up putting it there because if i put it there the lighting is kind of bad like it's not the best i don't think okay so the frog thing has this little hook thingy to it so i'm gonna try <laughs> to use push bids um i don't know if i recommend you guys to do this if you guys feel safe enough that your things might hold up with just push pins then do it but i'm being kind of risky here and just doing what i can since it's pretty like long i can fit two of the butts like this so one over here and one over there so it holds up a bit more instead of it just hanging on just one you know i'm gonna have to rearrange this a little bit because the beat hand is right there
now I have this heart one guys. Um, I think this would be cute over here I got this heart mirror. It came in a little like makeup mirror that I got from Rite Aid during their Valentine's Day collection It's looking pretty cute guys. Now we still need the plant pot bookends And then I also need to put up the invisible shelves from Amazon First I'm gonna clean this up a bit because there's a lot going on and I'm gonna have to go on the couch to like work over there So I'm just gonna clean this up really quick and then we'll get to we'll get to building Okay, I'm gonna add the plant book end on this shelf over here since on this one I have the plant and I just don't want to move her because she's already like starting to wrap up around this section. Barnes and Nobles has been getting a lot of cute like stationary stuff like to display your books. So these are the book ends which prevents the books from tipping over and falling over when you stand them up and you can you know space it out as big as you want or you can have just a few little books and then it comes with the bottom in the little entry over here so then it looks like that so then you put the books on top standing here i forgot to buy plants to put these in i was gonna buy fake plants because i don't want to actually plant real ones in there but yeah they gave like little fake ones so maybe i'll just leave these in for now but let's just put it up there this is my little book collection that i have going on here this is a desk so it's getting kind of to the point where it's like going all the way over there i do like this little setup here but i would like to just free this up Okay, I really like this setup. I think it's so cute. I think it's gonna look even cuter when I add the actual fake plants in there and like hopefully it's like drooping down a bit. I kept the blue book, which is just like a palette thick book that just has um, random pictures in it. And then I kept my little Bluetooth speaker that I got from Target. I kind of want to buy another set just to have and I might like put it up somewhere else too because I'm only gonna be growing my collection and so might as well be prepared, you know? So like I said, I have four of these that I want to put up and the cool thing about these is that it has like this little like thing right there. So then when you hang it on the wall, it looks like they're just floating, but in reality, it's like holding on to it, you know what I mean? This is so creative. Okay, I wanna um put two here and then the other two on this wall over here. I'm still gonna keep that, maybe just move it around a little bit. I definitely don't think any of the shelves are gonna fit anywhere on this wall. I was kind of thinking maybe down here, but I like the empty space there. And then all the way up there, all the way up there would just be really too high to reach i'm gonna do um one on top of the other over here and then over here i think i might do two side by side i kind of want to try oh maybe one like up there one at the bottom over here and then like decorate around it that would be cute got my handy dandy screwdriver we were able to do the rest without using a drill we can do it teamwork teamwork <laughs> Okay, hey guys, it's been like three days later. I haven't had time to put up the shelves as you can see that one is still hanging. I completely gave up and the last clip you guys saw, I had to go to work so I just didn't have time. I asked my dad if he could put them up for me because I couldn't. So I think he's gonna do that today. I know, I cheated. At least I did like 80% of everything else. He's gonna do this for me really quick whenever he comes home and then I'll decorate the room. So I'll see you guys when he builds it. Okay, my dad put up the shelves. Get you a dad, bro. And then he also put the ones over here. I did it like diagonal. Enjoy this montage. Okay, so I have a dilemma. I really like 
the vibe of like these two together it's like really colorful and then i get like all the murder crime uh related books over here and it just doesn't really match and i do like the little like black cat pumpkin halloween vibe that i have going on here like as you guys saw i have like the little coralline section over there too but i just think that's like such a huge contrast compared to that that i don't really like it listen i know the saying it don't judge a book by its cover but I'm gonna be honest, these covers are not cute, okay? They don't go with my room since my room is like really colorful. Um, but I am gonna leave that because it's Coraline, duh. Gotta do it for my girl Cora, okay? She's staying. But I think I'm gonna end up moving these somewhere else. I might move it over there since like I have like that spirited away theme over there. But I think I'm gonna end up putting some mangas here instead since the mangas that I have do match that vibe. I am gonna decorate more over here so like add more posters and stuff sanrio collage thing that i said i was gonna do i might do it somewhere here and i also want to put up this picture okay because my middle name is selena and his beanie says s and you gotta keep an eye out for selena case closed caso cerrado good night Okay, so I finished all the decorations. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like now. So as you guys saw, I added this little section here, which before I only had the P1 Harmony calendar. Here I added the flower hooks um, that I got from Urban. I hung all my purses. I ended up hanging this cute crochet cactus that I got in Chinatown, I believe. And that's everything that I put in this little corner. And then here's where I added the frog mirror from Urban. I think it's really cute. You know, if I need a little quick checkup to see that my makeup looks good or if my hair looks good before I leave. I ended up moving all my PC books over here. I used to have them over there. And I was kind of always worried that if I had them kind of facing the sun that they would somehow get damaged. Now I have like one set place where I have all my PC books because they used to just be kind of all over the place. Here's my PC holder tree. If you guys want to see my collection of all my PC holders, I just posted a video on it. Go check that out. And I added some other notebooks here. And then I ended up moving all of my given mangas up here. Soju bottle, another manga, all my given mangas and some other two that are down there. My disposable yellow camera a little panda made out of legos and this flower pot plant that i got from urban and it's just like a little vine my desk completely changed this is where i had all those books lined up your desk is just like completely messy it just makes your room even look more messy and i feel like now that i cleared this up it looks a lot better no face plushie this pc frame of soul a little cat another cat and then this is a crate that i added and this is where i have all of my hats and some bags in there and it just looks a lot neater this would always be like super crowded and then my can, -can backpack and that's where i keep some napkins ended up moving this plant that used to be over there and i just let it hang over here hopefully it doesn't get too long but if it does i'm gonna have to repot it lavender pink lamp that i got from urban this bamboo plant that i've been having for forever i moved it here because i used to have it there but i realized that it got really like sunburnt yeah the leaves were turning completely yellow i had to remove some so i don't want it completely facing the sun and just my usual stuff i ended up putting this plant here which used to be up there i ended up putting up this magazine of robert pattinson because i literally bought them 
and like I never put them up and I finally found like a book holder and then here I just have my little section of large plants I have one plant there I have this one and then I have my huge um, other plant and then here's where I keep my CD player I ended up changing it and I put Ives Love Dive CD because I think the CD color looks really cute and then over here it does look a lot different from before I have that plant down here and I noticed it would just like touch the floor and would just drag and it just wasn't in a good place so I ended up elevating her so I put her up here and this is where I put all of those other books where I didn't really like the covers enough to display I put my two Lego cats on top this little mini purse with just random stuff in it um, a PC some rings and like just my usual and as you guys saw I changed the poster so I put the Kai poster from peaches and beatbox and i think those look really good together this is the last section that i displayed i think this is probably my favorite section and over here is where i did a little coralline theme where it's not october yet but it's never too early in my opinion to start decorating for halloween okay and i kind of have to do it in a subtle way because my parents are like super religious and super against halloween so i just kind of have to do it in a not so obvious way i have so many versions of the book coralline so i display them here and then some mini books my Coraline doll that I got from Target a little wooden black cat and I got this cute um dragonfly bookmark that I got from Barnes and Noble and I think it goes really well with her since it's like her vibe you know oh wait I forgot I have her dragonfly pin that I got from Amazon oh my gosh I'm gonna leave it here okay cute a little Coraline moment I love this one I think this one's probably my favorite I don't think I'm ever gonna take this one down just because Coraline is like my favorite movie so no matter what day of the year it is i'm gonna keep it up and then this is the other one i didn't decorate it as much i just put up some of the cuter books here so like yellow bluish greenish theme and on top i put this light um it has batteries and if you turn it on it lights up so it also goes with like the little coralline theme over here and i just think it looks really cute all the decorations that i had here i moved them up here and i still kept the veed hen but she's over here now next to the plants, next to Cora Bay, next to Cat. And then I ended up adding just this Pantone. I bought this plant book stopper from Barnes and Nobles. And then over here, this is where I put the other two invisible shelves. Some notebooks, these aren't actually books books, they're just empty notebooks that I don't really use. And I ended up getting this soda from Whole Foods and I actually did not like the soda at all. I like the can, so I ended up keeping it and washing it. And I put this fake flower, this fake tulip on top and I think it looks so cute. And then this is the other shelf that I ended up putting up. So I ended up putting some of my manga. So I put A Sign of Affection and Ima Koi. If you guys are really into like romance and cute short stories, I definitely recommend A Sign of Affection and Ima Koi. And then I put this PC of Gaul from I and again I'll list the shop of the PC holder where I got it from little mini cactus with a little cat in a bread just on top and this is where I put that last invisible shelf and then I ended up putting a random postcard of a plant this other print that I printed a Mark Lee poster and then this is where I added the Sanrio little collection that I was talking to you guys about I ended up putting this picture of Gal from the album I ended up adding this um, PC holder from Hope Brownie which is literally the Sanrio characters and I think it goes so well with all of this these prints are also from hope brownie so if you guys want to get either of these I definitely think you guys should check out their shop this jkan keychain and then this cute my melody purse I still have yet to use it and then I hung it next to this cinema roll keychain I ended up putting the other print up and then some other random little pictures that I think go well with like the similar color palette that's basically everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys got some inspiration to how to decorate your videos yeah i definitely recommend the invisible bookshelves they're really really good and they just look like a cute display like on your wall like if you guys are able to put nails on your wall i literally <sighs> I asked my dad, I was like, did they tell us to not put nails or to not put holes on the wall when like we, we moved into this apartment? And they were like, yeah, they told us not to. And I was like, you could have told me that before. If you guys have any questions on anything, feel free to ask me and I'll make sure to answer them. If you like any of the prints that I have on my wall, um, unless stated otherwise, they're most likely going to be in my Pinterest. I have different boards there of, of NCT Dream, NCT 127, wavy, colorful prints. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, Spotify. Stay safe, you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video.